What is up everybody? This isn't gonna be as regular as my other videos in terms of the length. It is 33 degrees. It is six o'clock basically on the dot. And hang on a second. Something going on with my screen there. There we go. So we're just doing an update so you guys can see what's going on with the snow right now. We'll do a much better video after my dinner at Captain's Anchorage. By the way, guys, that's my favorite restaurant in Big Bear. I love it so much. I absolutely love it. I love it so much, man. It makes me happy to eat there. Oh my gosh. Right now we are on South Eureka again. Just hang on a moment, guys. Hang on a moment. Just give, just give me a moment. Just one moment in time. So it still looks like in the next 48 hours, 20 inches of snow, you guys. But after the last video I made, it changed back to rain right after I got home. I couldn't freaking believe it. I couldn't freaking believe it. Sorry about that, guys. Phone cut out for a second. But yeah, we're gonna come up here and turn around real quick and then head back over to near the grocery stores just so you guys can kind of see what's going on over here. Got to turning around, now we're on South Eureka again. And we are going to, as I said, head over by the grocery stores. I was thinking about going down by the village first, so I think we might do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go through the village real quickly so you can see what it looks like all lit up outside right now. As I said, as soon as I finished my video, because I was staring out the window like I always do when we have these storms, when it's raining, to wait for the transition, and then I go out as soon as I see the first snowflake. So I did that, and I really thought, because the temperatures had dropped from 40 to like 33 and 34 quickly, I thought it was gonna keep on dropping, and it was just gonna be all snow all the time. It's all snow right now, but it's a really, really wet snow. And uh, yeah, so it changed back to rain. Let me turn on the brights a little bit here. You guys see a little better. Gotta turn around the brights now because of the car in front of us. Or, oh, there was a car coming towards us. So we're gonna take the side street park until we get down by Taco Bell. And then when we get to Taco Bell, that's when we're going to take the boulevard. So if you stay on park, you'll bypass all of Big Bear Boulevard. And hang tight real quick. I got to answer this call. Hang on. Guys. All right, you guys. Sorry about that. That was the wife. Since I didn't bring the other phone that I usually use to record, I have to stop the videos to answer these phone calls. To the right, you can't see, but there's a big baseball field right here. This is a huge park right here. Turn on the brights again, kind of help us out a little bit. The reason I drive with the brights on all the time, well, obviously, if a, if a car is coming towards us, I turn the brights off. But the reason why I use them during the snowstorms, because a lot of you ask, is because it allows you guys to see the snow falling even better. And it makes me so happy to see the snow falling like this. In my other Subaru, which will be back next week after three months of not having it because I crashed it, it uh, that one has better brights than this one as far as I'm concerned. And it looks like an accident straight ahead. Oh no, that's a parking lot. Oh yeah. So right now we are on... Oh my gosh, why do I always forget the name of this street? This is the street that Taco Bell's on. Um, Knight Avenue, K-N-I-G-H-T Avenue. Now we're at Big Bear Boulevard. No cars coming, oh my gosh, we're good. Look at that, guys, I can't believe we made it with no cars coming, that's crazy. That's, that's is crazy, man. Chain conditions exist in mountain area. Do you guys see that sign? Chain conditions exist. 
but always call 800 Caltrans, you guys, just to make sure because I don't want you guys to ever get stuck or listen to me and me screw you guys up. I'm only here to help you guys. I don't want to hurt you guys or ruin your trip or waste your time. So always call 800 Caltrans or download the app, the Caltrans app. There's another app besides Caltrans, which is free. The Caltrans app is not free, but the other app has like the basic information that you would need to know. And I haven't had to pay for anything on it. So I think you would, you, you'd be good. Okay, we're coming into the village. You guys, it's still 33 degrees right here, 6, 11 p.m. And if I can get my wife, you guys, to come with me later, we'll do a live feed, okay? Especially if it's snowing like a champ. Ooh, this guy's chains. Ooh. Ooh. Something fell down back there. I hate to see that. All you guys are trying to do is just have a good time up here, not ruin your car. Here's another great restaurant, um, the Peppercorn Grill. I love that place. I really love that place. <laughs> I'm really surprised, even though it's gotten dark out here, the temperature has not lowered at all. See that thing hanging down, that piece of steel? I, I, I wonder what, what that is, look on his left tire. What is that, you guys? You guys know something like, because Captain's Anchorage is so expensive, at least as far as I'm concerned, I didn't eat anything all day today to keep a good appetite for Captain's Anchorage, as well as, uh, not spend any money to go eat because I'm always on the go I'm always on the go so it, it's it's tough for me and then I'm lazy in terms of like making food I'm super lazy and we got some snow piling up in here this is freaking awesome guys it's really wet snow but it's piling up Slowly but surely. If all this rain we had today would have been snow, I'm guaranteeing you we would already have six to eight inches for sure. So we missed out on that, but the lake is super grateful. I heard it say it earlier. It said, gosh, I'm super grateful for all this rain. pretty in here when it snows you guys my goodness and then we're gonna take the boulevard as I said back over by the grocery stores and then we're gonna turn around there and come back home it's not gonna be the longest update the next video once it starts really coming down that'll be a much better update in terms of the length and we'll do probably a drive around the lake at that point but if I do the live feed I have to kind of stay in this area because my cell phone doesn't get service all over town even though Verizon is, is what I've got and it gets the best service anywhere up here for sure it's guaranteed because I've tried two others and my friend owns Boost Mobile up here and he even told me that they use the Verizon network on Boost however um, it's like a secondary network so it's not quite as good as regular Verizon slush in the road, man. Woo. Slushity, slushity, slush. <clears throat> we just 
Hunter's Pass on the left-hand side, Honey Bee. That's, I believe that's what it's called. This is a good restaurant too, guys. Oakside, let me roll down the window. That's a, a good restaurant as well. Oakside Restaurant. It's at the very f start of the village when you're coming from Highway 18 on the front side. Right when you enter the village, all those shops, it's right there on the right-hand side. I've stayed here before in the biggest room they offer you guys, and it's on my channel here. I have a playlist of all the lodging where I've stayed up here. That's the only playlist that I have. Because I am honest with you guys, of course I love my town. I would do anything for this place. I love Big Bear. But instead of using hyperbole and pumping you guys up about things, like this time of year usually it's it's better when it comes to consistency. But with like food up here, it's very inconsistent. Um, this pizza place, Village Pizza, is probably my favorite spot up here when it's good. And I hate to say when it's good, but it's right here. It's a really darn good good restaurant, you guys, but the pizza isn't always up to par. Oh, no. So we're going to make a U-turn right here, guys. We're not going to be stuck in this traffic, so we're going to turn around right here and go back through the village. Yay. 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 Our timing is epic. I have a dinner reservation in 22 minutes, or an hour and 12 minutes. That line, just to get past the village, would have taken us 10 to 15 minutes. And I don't have time for this, my friend. So you're gonna get a different perspective of the village. I'm gonna try something that you guys know is very difficult for me, and that's shutting up while we drive through the village. The whole village, I'm gonna try and not say anything. We might not, we're actually not gonna go through the second part of the village because of the traffic on Big Bear Boulevard, but we are going to go through this part again, and I am shutting up right now. shut up for like a minute at the most. I can't believe it. Alert the media. So everyone's going to turn left here. We're going to go straight and go down to Knight Avenue and go down Knight to get to Big Red Boulevard to avoid all the traffic at this stoplight coming up here. drive out in this stuff when it's deep 
it could happen, you guys. We could get some good snow out of this, so let's keep our fingers crossed. sky looks pink over there because of all the lights at Snow Summit. That's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. We just passed night. We're just going to go down to Jeffrey's then forget it. Forget it, yo. Look at, look what happened to the temperature. It went up. That's why I'm sensing more rain coming down with the snow as well. It's just not cool, man. It's just not cool, bro. We're gonna take the back roads all the way. I don't wanna deal with anything on Big Red Boulevard right now. So this is oak, but you can't see it because there's snow plastered on the sign. You guys are really gonna have to rely a lot on your GPS systems up here to look at street names when we have storms because the snow plasters onto these signs and it's very difficult to actually see which road you're on or which road to turn on because you can't read the sign. <coughs> back down to 33 degrees. What is this in the street here? Oh, it's, it's a poison. No, it's a coyote. Hey, coyote, look. Uh, there he is. Look at him, look at him. Let's say hi. Hey, buddy. How you doing, buddy? Come here, coyote. Come here, come on. Look at him right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Come here. Ruff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, and he looks scared of me. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. That makes me sad. He was being so sweet. He didn't run away. He said, are you gonna give me some food? And I was like, no, bro, but I want to. No. Please give me some food. Bang, ding, 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 ding. Okay. So if everything works out by morning, we should have a eight to twelve inches of snow. As I said, I'm going to be doing another video tonight for sure when the snow starts to accumulate and after we eat at Captain's Anchorage. In case you're wondering, we are on Brownie Lane. It says that on the top there. And it's 33 degrees, 6.24 p.m. Even though it's packed up here, I'm hoping there's no one at Stater Brothers. Because I gotta stop there real quickly. Now we're gonna avoid all the Big Bear Boulevard traffic again over by Moon Ridge by staying on Brownie. I'm going behind here. It's coming down good. I wish it was colder so it would be a more steady type of a snow because it's it's a rain and snow mixture. It's quite unfortunate. But for the most part, this drive has been mainly snow.
Bridge Road. We are going to cut across now. And Captain's Anchorage is right up here to the right. There it is. The Anchorage. Captain's Anchorage Restaurant. Okay, now we're getting snow again. All snow. Yeah, it's weird how we'll just get a moment of a mix. I'm pretty confident that by the time we're done with dinner, it'll be it'll be a nice, beautiful, steady snow coming down. And I love making those videos for you guys so much. It's it's really peaceful driving in it as well. All right, guys, so this is the video, the update. I hope you guys are having a good one. As always, I love you guys to death. Thank you guys for everything you do for me. Thank you for the love you show me in the comment section. Everything. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. And it's January 14th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Saturday, January 14th. Peace out, folks.